Bring forth the sacrificial phone. <laughs> hey everybody, you all have been seeing this thing sit here for a minute. And this company sent this to me. They did not ask me to review it. They just said, hey, we hope you like this thing. Maybe if you do, you might happen to show it on the channel. Well, as it turns out, this thing has been like heavenly. Now you have to give it a little bit of finesse and have a little bit of patience with it. So here I am wedging a Galaxy S10e into this thing. So I'm just going to go ahead and warm the back of this thing up. Yeah, you have to heat these up pretty stinking hot and then be very, very patient with it as it's coming apart. This device has been the end of my stress whenever I receive a factory sealed 12 series. Uh, those are pretty difficult to open. The adhesive on them is extremely strong and there is no room at all to get a blade in between the bezel and the frame. And I did use just some regular old stick on suction cups, but those suck. And I figured a machine like this would make life quite a lot easier. And honestly, it, it actually does. Now, when I start pulling on the 12 series, aside from heating it up, I take a Q-tip that's been saturated with alcohol and I just kind of lightly touch the edges of it and I let the alcohol seep in. And I use a Q-tip because if, I, if you use a dropper, it's excessive and you'll wind up likely with blotches and stuff in the display itself. But with a Q-tip, you can just let just the tiniest little bits get in, get in around the frame and I haven't damaged any screens that way. All right, this thing is just about up to temp. So with that warmed up, clamp this thing down in there nice and firm and start cranking away on it. Ooh, that's in there tight. So we'll want to make sure to keep it warmed up. Now, look at this. I have got upward tension applied to this and I've got both of my hands free. Like this is literally like giving me three extra hands. So with that thing fairly hot and applying upward tension, I'll just take my Q-tip with some alcohol. And let that soak in there right around the edges. And as it soaks in, I can turn that knob ever so slightly. Ah! The tray underneath popped. So still holding upwards tension, hopefully no more explosion type noises coming out of it. You can just add a little tiny little bit of alcohol. And I'm not touching it. It's sitting here starting to come loose. That's the alcohol soaking in. Give it a little more. Ooh. Isn't this nice? I've kind of felt bad for having it sitting here through several videos and not mentioning it. So here I am getting ready to open this Galaxy S10e and I thought, you know, here is the shining moment because this phone's not broken yet. And this machine, it helps me out. Like this is completely cool. I've probably opened a dozen or more phones with this thing. Definitely more. We're almost there. Yep, almost there enough to where I no longer need the machine. It is the machine is officially now slowing me down because that's pretty much loose. You know the best part about this thing is that sound. It rings. Ding, ding, ding. Everybody in the whole entire place will know whenever you're opening a difficult phone because it'll say, ding, ding, ding. Come on, baby. And there you have it. We have a nicely open Galaxy S10e and almost left the adhesive in place. 
So you can't just be barbaric with this thing. As long as you're patient and you use it for the tool that it is and allow it to apply some tension while you kind of work the heat or, or alcohol or however it is that you're softening the adhesive, this thing allows you to pull on it while you do that. Um, it doesn't work worth a crap if the glass is cracked, of course, but for factory sealed phones, it's sweet.